agreeing to voter ID one of those compromises that you'd support? Because in some people's mind, that means, well, you're going to have to um, Xerox or, or, or photocopy your ID to send it in to prove you are who you are. Well, there are a whole lot of people, especially people who live in rural communities, who don't. There's no Kinko's. There's no Office Max near them. What? Vice President Kamala Harris trying to make the case against voter ID laws, but, well, it's backfiring because people heard what she said. Now to former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. He's also a Fox Business contributor. What is she talking about? Bigot much? You know, I don't think she really understands that people between the coast live a life, that we've got uh, electricity, cable TV, satellite. It's amazing. Dagan, she may not realize this. We even have paved roads. How about that? And, and electricity. And some folks have a cement pond in the backyard. It's amazing what folks have out here in the country anymore. A, a and yes, pond. we know how to photocopy. <laughs> well, and actually, you know what? People in rural communities, and this is not based on race. It, 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 people know how to use their smartphone and take a photograph of something and email it to someone. And it, I don't even know, did she even know what she was saying it, it is my question. I, but I always say these folks in Washington, they're so out of touch, they go into a Hardee's and order beef bourguignon. I don't think she does understand, but the bigger question is, why are Democrats so afraid of a photo ID? And here's what I wish she would answer. Does she think that people in rural America ever go to a doctor's office, check into a hospital, get on an airplane, cash a check, uh, maybe go to a big building somewhere that has more than three rooms? Because if they do, they're probably going to have to show a photo ID. And the fact is, people aren't afraid of having a photo ID. They can get them for free, even if they don't already have a driver's license. So what is the big boogaboo about having a photo ID that people have to have? And I think it's an insult to people of color to make it like they're not as competent as our white people to go get a photo ID. I, if I were a p person of color, I would be angry and incredibly insulted that somebody didn't think that I was capable of doing the fundamental basic things one has to do just to get by in life today. Well, at, at every turn, the vice president talking about you know, she's fully was expected to be, if Joe Biden is, has, is a one-term president, to be the nominee uh, less than four years from now. But she, like, at, at, she can't really, she, she's not, well, as I stammer, she's not ready for prime time either. She can't even sit down and do an interview and make kind of coherent arguments. I really think somebody ought to take her out to a few places and see if she can order for the drive through window at a Dairy Queen. Uh, you know, is she going to be overwhelmed by that? Because it, it really does appear that she's a bit out of touch with the day-to-day -day living that most people are quite used to. Mm -hmm. And that's unfortunate. And a person who is leading the country ought to better understand the country that she's trying to lead. And we get to see time and time again why her own campaign for the Democratic nomination fell apart as swiftly as it did. Governor Huckabee, good to see you, sir. Please come back. So much Thank to talk you. about. I will. And I'll put All on right. my best country accent.